Hi class, welcome back. Let's take a look at planes. You may have heard the term planes before, and planes are different ways that we can divide the body. Okay, so if you look at the person off to the right, you look at the, the young lady here, you see that we're dividing her into in different directions. So when we're dividing her and we're cutting her in half from anterior to posterior, right? If we were to put and saw her in half from front to back, we'd be separating her into an equal left half and an equal right half, right? Left and right half, equal. So this is what we call a sagittal plane, is when we cut the body into an equal left and right half, there's a word mid-sagittal, and parasagittal. Sagittal means you're going in this direction from back to front, slicing the body in half into a left and right half. When it's perfectly equal halves, we call it mid-sagittal. But if we move this off and let's say we cut it down the left limb, we're still dividing her into a left and right half, but not equal halves. So we'd call that parasagittal. Now in anatomy, when we do osteology, in the skull, if we looked at the top of the skull, there's a suture or a line that goes on the top of the skull from front to back, and it's called the sagittal suture. It goes in the same direction as the sagittal plane. Now on the skull, on the top of the skull, there's another suture that goes across in this direction. That suture going across is called the coronal, the coronal suture, AKA frontal. The coronal suture is going this way from left to right, from left to right. That's the coronal suture. The frontal plane goes in the same direction as the coronal suture going from left to right. When it goes left to right, it's going to separate the body into a front and back half. The only one left is the transverse plane, and that's going to be slicing the body in half, giving us a bird's eye view, looking down or looking up, right? Looking down a bird's eye view or looking up into the body. And when we take films, whether it's a X-ray, an MRI, or a CAT scan, many times we'll take it in three different planes to get a really good look at the body because if there's a tumor that we find, we wanna see how big and measure the tumor in different directions. So the surgeon will know exactly what tissues it may have, inv may have invaded. So when we look at this going across, which plane would that be? Well, that would be the transverse plane. Now we have a drag and drop. So they give you these one, two, four definitions. And now you're going to have to match up the terms with the definitions. So coronal which is goes across, coronal goes across, same as the frontal. So that's gonna separate into a front and back half. So it divides the body into an anterior and posterior section. Here's sagittal. But we said there's a mid-sagittal and a parasagittal. Mid-sagittal divides the body into an equal left and right half where parasagittal divides the body into an unequal left and right half. And transverse divides the body into a superior and inferior section. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now, most people would jump and go, okay, this is the right upper quadrant and this would be the left, uh, right lower quadrant. 
but it wasn't asking that information. It's asking two for the price of one here. It says, what is the medial border of the highlighted section called? So you got to know, oh man, medial, medial, lateral, superior, inferior. So medial means closer to midline. So this one's medial. So the medial border, what is the medial border of the highlighted region called? That's going to be the mid-sagittal plane or the sagittal plane. Superior border is here. Inferior or lateral border is here. So don't jump to conclusions. Oh, okay. Well, this is umbilical. This is epigastric. This is pubic. This is flanked. And this is the left hypochondriac region but that's not what it's asking what is the name of the line that makes the medial border okay so we're looking at this this is inferior this is lateral this is medial so this medial border is coming right up here now if the choice was mid-sagittal or parasagittal it wouldn't be mid because mid would be equal left and right half now it could be parasagittal but that wasn't a choice what they gave was mid clavicular because here's the clavicle that's your clavicular bone and it was right between the clavicle so the answer was mid clavicular line okay good place to take a break we come back, we'll finish with, I think, our last section on cavities. Cavities.